the direct harm that we are doing to animals at this point is far, far, far uh, in a bigger number than the indirect harm. So for example, breeding and using animals for all the things we use them for, it's not only killing those animals, but it is also killing insects because they're using pesticides on the food they use to kill those animals. So for me, direct harm is where I, I, be, I believe that we should all be focusing until, until that is dealt with. And then indirect harm, such as pesticides, uh, you know, on plant food, I see that as an absolute, that's a second problem. I think it's one that we have to handle, but it's, it's not where we should be putting most of our time, if, any, if not any of our time, really, when we have this other issue, which is also causing death to insects through pesticides. Ignoring the fact that pesticide harm is a direct kind of harm, According to him, all inflicted harm to animals has little to no relevance if it's indirect. Consider this example. Let's imagine a world where there are black people almost everywhere you look at, and on a daily basis, they are indirectly killed with impunity. No one gives a shit if those black people don't want to get hurt. But also in that world, some black people are enslaved and harmed directly. Imagine sitting in a car and mowing down a few black people, inflicting harm so you could go and protest, inflicting direct harm to black people. Imagine every day destroying their homes, harming them when we build and manufacture things, kill them when we travel from one location to another, like maybe vacations, but harming them by using their bodies for something, well, that's just crossing the line. I guess some black lives would matter more than others. I don't think vegans would appreciate getting harmed, directly or indirectly. So why ignore indirect harm of others? It doesn't even have to be physical and emotional harm. I doubt vegans would be fine with the idea of their gardens getting indirectly trampled down in order for others to protest direct trampling of someone else's garden. He is also talking about numbers. Direct plus indirect harm is greater than just indirect harm. Let's get back to black people. Sure, I harm black people, but that's not really important because society harms plus enslaves black people. And I'm fine with that until society stops enslaving black people, which might happen after I die of old age. That sounds really weird, right? The thing is that he could tackle both. He could live a life which minimizes the indirect harm and still be against direct harm. But that demands sacrificing convenience and many pleasures life can give. So vegans don't have to put indirect harm on the back burner. They just don't care about it. Listen to this. Because animal agriculture is not only killing the animals in animal agriculture, he is also it's talking also about numbers the by the crops as well, because the crops are being used to feed those animals. So it's double. So for me, it's, it's animal agriculture that we should be focusing on as a first priority. And then of course, moving on to, to this as a, as a, as another priority or, or, you know, both at the same time, if time, if you want to, if you can do that. But for me, I find that a core focus is pretty much is, is needed. And that's why my core focus is animal agriculture and, and trying to expose this to people. If you can, and if you want to, you are free to focus on both. But his focus is only on one, even though he could focus on both. Put that in the context of harm inflicted to black people, and we get the same ridiculous result as before.